They fought and won against the Spencer and George's dock developments, but Docklands residents have lost their latest battle, saying for them this plan is a bridge too far. Tomorrow on board Planola will give the official go-ahead to the Macken Street Bridge. Well, we're against it because it's going to increase the traffic in our community and affect the, the, for our children, the, our children's health and the pollution level is going to go sky high. This area has been downgraded and neglected for many, many years and now the community working together are bringing it back up off its knees and now the corporation are coming back in to give us a major drawback again. The spectacular structure is by the world's leading bridge designer, Spaniard Santiago Calatrava, who designed another under construction upriver at Blackhall Place. The corporation says it will enhance the whole Docklands area and denied its part of a plan to ease O'Connell Street traffic. The primary function of this bridge is to uh, provide access to people working and uh, living in the area there because anybody can see the traffic jams that are on the quays and the great, large developments taking place both on the North Quays and on the South Quays and this bridge will actually form a link between the two communities, both North and South. However, some say it will channel 2,000 cars an hour through those very communities. If the corporation were interested in sustainable development, in taking redirecting traffic away from Docklands communities, they would have d designed this bridge as a public transport bridge only. Construction is due to begin here behind me next April and be completed in two years. But it will be some time after that before it's clear whether the corporation's great new plans or the residents' fears have been realised. Flora McCarthy, RTE News.